Shabbat Shalom, all nations. It is July 26, 2024. I am Prophetess Brenda Saul Yeshua. I have been sent by the God of Abraham to prepare you for King Yeshua's return. President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and the graceful missionary Sonia Massey. Thank you, Mr. President Biden, for your service. I pray for you and your loved ones as you stand down after completing your duties as the 46th president of the United States of America. Salute. Vice President Kamala, in my prophetic office, I don't support or vote for people just because they are black anymore. Mostly, I care about how they will help the poor. Anybody can say one thing and do another once they are voted in. I would like to see dental and vision insurance intertwined seamlessly into affordable, realistic health care plans. Poor people are losing their teeth and their lives because they can't afford yet another insurance plan. In Kamla, President or Nah, reparations should be at the top of your list. Our people did not willingly work for free. They were enslaved and it became law. The family should collect the delayed paychecks. I really don't expect you to deal with issues that only deal with benefits for blacks, but how could you not see it as your responsibility to raise your voice against black men being incarcerated more than others and for minor offenses? Blacks are being killed by police at alarming rates. The whole system needs reform. On behalf of Sonia Massey of Springfield, Illinois, when police officers are fired from one police department in another area while they're allowed to be hired by another. People are being killed by cops that other departments saw as a problem. Looking at the video of Sonia before getting shot in her beautiful face, she was a graceful missionary from God. She expressed that she loved the cops and she said thank you. When they came into her home, oh, how vulnerable she was. The cop said something that made her feel fearful and disrespected because she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She expressed sharp disapproval of him. He became more infuriated. Only evil is threatened by Yeshua. This world is corrupt and violent, so it is doomed. If you are saved, you welcome Jesus' presence. Get to know him. He saves. My Facebook memories reminds me, those who believe in Yeshua do not have the worries of the world. We have troubles, but scripture reminds us to let tomorrow take care of itself. When we are wronged, we don't have to seek revenge. We can be confident that God repays and gives to each person what they are due. Whatever happens in this world, we have the security and knowing that this world is temporary. We live our lives for Christ on earth because ultimately we live with him forevermore. They may see our bodies being lowered into the ground, but our spirits have returned to God. All people, past and present, believers and non-believers, will have their time with God. Non-believers will experience a second death. Believers will go on to eternal life in heaven. I am a witness that you don't have to worry. Just hold on and stay faithful in knowing God. Sonia loved the world. Sonia loved the Lord and I join her in rebuking every police officer who assumes that no one cares about black women and men. I rebuke and pray for every police officer in all nations who sees civilians as a whole, as a powerless people just because they have a badge and a gun. I pray you all call upon Yeshua and ask for forgiveness and be saved. May Sonia rest in agape love, safety, and power. My condolences to her friends and loved ones. Love, Prophetess Brenda Saw, Yeshua.